Well, the bike's good. Last ton of 2017. Mm -hmm. Unless you come out tomorrow. <laughs> no snow. And hopefully rabbits. <laughs> First shot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where'd you hit him in the beaner? Right in the chest. Right in the head. I say he sure showed lack of judgment after that. <laughs> oh my gosh. First fur we've seen in two hours. <clears throat> it's been a while since I've got a jack with my bow. Yeah. Nice shot. <laughs> Sorry about the arrow. <laughs> the break? Yeah. Well. We just found the first rabbits. I got my first one with the bow. Jeff just got a jack with his uh, AR. I'm losing battery incredibly fast because it's so cold out. We've seen one cottontail. Hopefully we'll be able to find some more in this wind. Need a ride? Hey, catch a ride with you guys. Who's your friend? Uh, you, can, you can leave the friend up here. Yeah. Maybe. There's a rabbit right into there that just missed. He's right here. Yeah, I was filming him, but then he took off and Dad couldn't see him anymore and stopped in the wrong place. I was able to put this one right behind his shoulders. <laughs> Two down. Okay. Just scared up three jackrabbits. Dad and I both got shots. And one of them ran over here. There he is. That might be a different one or the same one. Another jack was just scared. Not giving us much of a chance with the boats. Oh shoot, here he goes! Dang it, I was not looking close enough. He was only about 15 yards away. So that's why you have Jeff with the AR to back you up. shot. That's what you have to do when they don't give you a shot with your bow. Did you count it off? A little bit of blood spray. Now it should rain if I had my range finder.
Yeah, it's an antelope. Didn't make it through that fence. Okay. So we just got out of the spot, jumped up a jackrabbit, and was able to get it with my 22. Scared up some more cottontails, so now I'm out here with the bow. There's a cottontail that just ran into this bush right here. That I'm going to go shoot right now with my bow. Wish me luck. Okay, well, I did shoot that one cottontail, but he ran into some of this really, really thick stuff down over here, and it was just way too thick. We couldn't even reach in there and get him out. So we kept going and then that's when Jeff shot his. Came over here where we saw another cottontail and a jackrabbit stepped out. So I took a shot at him. You can see how close I got. <laughs> All this fur. Oh, I should have had that one. So after that he took off. The wind's finally starting to calm down and we've started to find a lot of rabbits now. There should be a cottontail right in here somewhere. I think he might be down there. Nope, oh, there he is. You can go around if you want. Might have a better shot. Got him. Only took 14 arrows. Got him. <laughs> nice. Just scared up two more jacks. I shot one just now, and they're both closing in on the jack in between them. Here's the jack that just went too. Jumped out and Jeff missed him with his bow and he ran out into rifle range. He scared a few more. Jeff's on a cottontail right now. our haul so far. Two o'clock. Found the jackrabbits. Not able to film any of my shots because I'm carrying my bow, my gun, and a rabbit. And this cottontail jumped up. Shot him and got him right behind the shoulders. Right after we just scared up two jacks. So they're chasing a couple jacks right now. And now I have another thing to carry. The old bear free curve. Well, we're trying another spot. Already we've scared up four jacks. Two cottontails. tracks all over through here. So we're bound to jump some more up here soon. That was the craziest thing. I'm walking there and I see a few little pieces of white fur kind of float by me. So I start looking up ahead and I see a little piece of white fur attached to a piece of grass. Then all of a sudden, oh there goes a cocktail. So 
So then this jack pops up right where I was looking at the fur. And he takes off running over here. And I was able to shoot him. And then after I shot that one, another one popped up right by him. And I'm pretty sure I got that one too. So they need to come over here. Aim him clear over there. Get him. There he is. Yeah, he ran straight up. Yeah. Shot from clear over there. I don't know why no tracks going that way. So he just died mid stride. There's been at least another dozen jackrabbits over here. <laughs> well, just saw a jack sitting right here. Only about 20 yards, so I finally was able to grab my bow. Hit him with this one. Took off, shot right over him right here. Came right over here. Died right here. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Oh, there's where I just barely missed the second time. Oh, wow. Right on his back. But we got him. This one wasn't, wasn't quick enough. Well, we've had a good day so far. It's getting late, so we're just headed back to the truck. Probably our final stretch. Came to some new areas and found a whole bunch of jackrabbits. Most of them we had to get with our with the rifles just because it was so windy and they wouldn't let us get close enough with the bows but unfortunately and fortunately a few of them hung around and let us get them with the bows to make for a good day in some new areas. Just inside. Come to me. It's deeper on that one. A little spark. And <laughs> some sparks. Threaded the needle. I surprised you took that shot. I had to. I All of them. <laughs> All three of them. I had to. The sun's going down. I had nothing to lose. There wood arrows. I can make new ones. And it's harder to make memories than it is to make arrows. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, finally got the darn thing. It took me all day, but that's okay. <laughs> Part of it. Well, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm just sitting here editing the video. And I just wanted to first apologize for how windy it was. I don't have any kind of special camera or anything like that that will help with the wind. And then I also wanted to show you this awesome gift that I got for my wife for Christmas. This cool tumbler that she had my brother-in-law custom paint for me. He's at the gun room in Evanston, Wyoming. 
made this, so I just wanted to give a shout out to them for this cool tumbler. There's going to be a link in the description so you guys can go look at some of the other ones that he's done. He can do just about anything on these things. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again.